Howdy there. So the other day I saw an amazing documentary, Project Nim. Uh, it was spectacular. Uh, I'll give it an eight. Uh, solid, solid film. Um, and eye-opening, as any good documentary should be. Uh, it's about Nim Chimsky, a uh, chimpanzee raised to be human. Um, this is the early 70s, and he lives till the early 90s, I believe. Mid-90s, even. Uh, he's also taught uh, sign language. Um, I believe up to 700 words, something like that. Uh, all in order to uh, understand the origins of human communication. And how did we learn to talk and communicate and the other primates did not? How did that evolve? Uh, so that's what they were going for. Uh, Nim also lived a very sad life. Uh, you know, tragic, really. Um, not quite a chimp, not quite a man, you know did not fit in anywhere. So it was incredibly heartbreaking. Uh, the, the film, uh, I can't remember his full name. I think it's Marsh. Uh, maybe James Marsh. He did uh, Man on Wire. A Man on Wire is a 10 for me. You know, it... Uh, an excellent, amazing, captivating documentary. Uh, I think this, I mean, this is his follow-up, and it's extremely good. It obviously shows a true talent um, who is passionate. Uh, so it, I mean, just to, prom you know, to promote the, the director's work, I think it's, you know, fantastic, and I think he's someone to watch. Uh... I thought maybe it was just a, a tad repetitive. I, I found, um, I don't know, I found myself kind of getting, not bored with it, but kind of lulled uh, into repetitive, a repetitiveness. Um, I mean, still, it's he's, um, you know kind of already a master, uh, you can tell that he's watched, and I mean, you can't escape his influence, but you can tell he's watched a lot of Errol Morris. Um, this was kind of like Errol Morris light. You know, it had uh, good graphics, um, very, like, cool and original graphs, charts, ways to show those graphs and charts. Um, the talking heads talk directly into the camera. Um, there was reenactments. I mean, again, this is like early Errol Morris, uh, which is fine, because again, if you make a documentary, you're probably going to be compared to Errol Morris, whether you like it or not. And you've probably been influenced and are, you know, stealing his stuff, but, you know, if you're gonna steal, you gotta steal from the best. Uh, and he did. Uh, the subject matter is just heartbreaking. You know, uh, I, I think documentary films are incredibly important to watch. I think they're more important to see and more important to film than a regular narrative is. Um, film is a, an excellent way to convey ideas and beliefs. Um, and a documentary should remain neutral. Uh, you can tell, you know, how he felt, uh, the filmmaker. Um, there is an arc there where 
you know, you think someone is good and then they turn out not to be so good. Uh, I, you know, he just, this is a decades long story. So it, it, and it is just factual, you know, it's just a, it's just a, a true story told from, you know, A to B, C, D, um, till the end. Uh, and it's, it's very well presented and it does remain mostly neutral, though you can, I mean, if you're human, you can kind of tell, you know, what side you are supposed to fall on. Um, and who did wrong here. Uh, and there is lots and lots of wrong here. Um, this, you know, the film examines the nature of being human uh, and our relationship to the natural world and animal abuse and what constitute animal abuse. When does animal abuse start, you know? Um, what can we do to stop it? And basically, I think the answer to that question is do absolutely nothing to animals. Um, I think that's the simple, plain truth of it. Uh, Nim was awesome. You know, I love animals. Uh, maybe that's why I found this film so heartbreaking. Um, it's amazing to see some of this footage they have. It's amazing to see Nim talk to, you know, people, uh, but really for me, you don't need to teach a chimp to talk or most primates to talk because you can just look at their face and their eyes and expression tell you everything you would ever need to know. And we get a lot of that from them. Uh, so that's very rewarding and you feel that even without the sign language, Nim can communicate directly to you if you pay attention. Uh, it is very sad. Uh, I, I mean, I'm trying not to let that affect my rating of it. I do feel it's a solid eight. Um, again, it's no man on wire. Uh, but, you know, maybe the subject to me isn't as captivating. Here, it's more sad um, there's you know it, it's and it's a documentary is usually sad and then it's overwhelming you know um, like uh, usually I am depressed after watching a documentary usually because I am overwhelmed with new knowledge and a sense of uh, smallness I what can I do you know what what could I possibly do to correct this problem uh, how can I reflect the change I want to see in the world uh, so always very challenged always very uh, disheartened usually uh, and depressed by documentaries here it's just a depressing story you know it's um, <laughs> It's just a story that's sad. Uh, it's not giving you any new information per se. It's just showing you what humans are capable of. Uh, even when their goals are uh, altruistic. I believe that word fits. Um, so it's just, it's just sad to see... Uh, something suffer. You know, you're uh, basically checking in for an hour and 40 minutes of watching uh, something innocent suffer. So it's uh, very sad. Um, but it is, it's truly important. It should be seen. Uh, you don't necessarily have to see it on the big screen, but definitely rent it as soon as it comes out. Uh, documentaries usually tend to play well on small screens um, and I don't think it should be any different here I think you know it's an excellent film uh, very important uh, you will learn something about yourself you may not learn something about uh, the world per se but you will learn something about your soul 
in your heart, uh, I feel. And that, uh, you know, really can't be beat. Uh, I don't know what else to say about it. Um, I will probably see it again someday. Maybe not because... I don't need to feel that crushed, you know. I don't need help with that. So, I don't know. I, I may revisit it one day, but it, it definitely should be seen. Uh, so that's Project NIM. It's a great eight. Thanks.